Hey guys, Caleb here. Real quick, wanted to show you how to turn the sound system on and off here at Berlin campus. Most of the time, Rocky or myself will do this for you and you won't have to worry about it. But in the off chance that for some reason, something would happen and we can't be here and you guys need to do it, you know how. So the first thing is here in Rocky's office. In this box, there's his desk. In this box, open it up and there is a power sequencer on top, this Furman power sequencer here with a red switch. Turn that red switch on. And what that does is it feeds power to our Jupiters here, which distributes um, sound to our subs and our speakers and everything. And it also powers on our audio network switch um, for all of the ear mixes and stuff on stage. So yeah, just double check, make sure this is on. And if it's not, turn it on before everything else. All right, so then you want to come back here to the sound booth and go to the sound board. Sound board is off currently. All you have to do to turn it on is flip this switch back here. And you'll see it kind of boot up. It goes through a boot up system or sequence on its own. And you want to wait until this is all completely booted up before you turn on the speakers with that key. Okay, so the soundboard is booted up, all the channels are showing up, everything is the way it should be. Now we can turn on the speakers. Flip this key to on, you'll see that light come on, and then you'll start seeing the speakers light up as well. Basically the way it works, this key controls the power distribution in the other box that I didn't show you in Rocky's office, and then that feeds power to each of the speakers and the subs down there. Once everything is up and running, you can turn this on. And really all this does is it powers up our CD recorder and all of our wireless mics. Um, this really can be turned on at any time and it's really not a big deal when it gets turned on. The reason that I show you all is because it does matter what order this stuff gets turned on in the speakers should never have power when either the Jupiters, which is our distribution in Rocky's office, or the soundboard gets turned on. The reason for that is both of those components can send phantom signals, pop signals, things like that that can ruin the speakers. And so they always need to be off when either the board, the soundboard, or the Jupiters go through their power on or off. Uh, boot ups, I guess. Um, and so in order to turn everything off, the first thing you need is turn off the speakers. When you flip that off, you'll notice that the speakers will slowly over time start turning off. You need to wait until all of the blue lights are off. The last set will be these here. Once that's off, then we can move to the soundboard. Okay, so it's about to turn off. All right, so lights are off. Now we can turn off the soundboard. In order to turn off the soundboard, you hit the home button, you hit the soft power button, and then you hit confirm power off. It will say preparing the mixer for power off. And then once it's ready, it will say it is now safe to power off your mixer. Once it says that, you can flip this switch to the off position and then we can <clears throat> we can move back to Rocky's office and turn off the Jupiters. And that's really all there is to it. <clears throat> Hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. Um, and hopefully you never really have to do this.